I'd like to introduce you today to a Georgian composer, Gia Cancelli. He is, together with Latvian, Estonian, French and Italian and other composers on the album, he makes this whole project very international. Born in Tbilisi, he lived in Berlin and then in Belgium. And he was known for his seven symphonies that uh, Vladimir Jurovsky has successfully recorded. And Gia spoke very highly of this recording and this conductor. And um, an opera conductor, chamber music conductor, also a theater and film music conductor. And I know him from, of course, the Kinzaza movie. And I fell in love with him back in 2010. I was offered to play a piano part in one of his um, symphonic works, not as a soloist, but just part of the orchestra. And I was set on the last row on the orchestra and I was given one note to play. And I was so upset. I thought, mm, I've been playing piano all my life and this is it. This is where I ended up. I ended up playing this one note where nobody can see me, hear me, appreciate me. It was a huge drama and I thought, I'll play that note in the wrong place. <laughs> I don't know why I wanted to be so such a naughty bad girl, but well. So I did it and when my note came, I played it three seconds later. And for some reason I was very proud of me. <laughs> when I suddenly saw that Gia Cancelli is standing right next to me as he was there during the rehearsal. And he said, I am really sorry, please forgive me. But I do think that you have misinterpreted my music slightly. And I was so ashamed. I blushed and I didn't respond. I just looked at him. I was stunned, shocked, ashamed of myself. And then the concert came. Of course, I played it correctly. And I would, every time he would pass by during the concert or after the concert, I would just blush. And at some point he came to me and he said, listen, I'd like to give you this book as a gift. This is Gia Cancelli, Simple Music for Piano. He said, I'd like to give it to you and maybe one day you'll play it. And, and then I read that he said, Dear Olga, I hope you weren't upset with me. <laughs> if so, I do apologize. I mean, the Cancelli is writing this to me. It's unbelievable. I do hope that you'll accept my apology uh, in the form of this book. And I hope that you will like it. With my best wishes, Gia Cancelli. And a little drawing as well that he liked so much. He always has a little drawing when he writes. I've been always traveling with this book and I've been playing his music just for my pleasure and then when the slow idea came to me I knew I want to record uh, his music so here's the piece it's the King Lear from it's a Shakespeare really it's a theater performance initially uh, but here it stands as a number one piece in this album <laughs> Then later in London I had an opportunity to interview Gia Cancelli for London Magazine where we talked about the power of music and I came with a list of questions about his childhood and about the therapeutic effect of the music and he was so pessimistic. He was saying, what is happening with the world politically, economically, in relationships? Where are the values going? Where are we falling? And he said that if the music would have had a power, then it would have all stopped. All the wars would have stopped after Bach. I mean... <sighs> I think we are united when the music is being performed, but as soon as performance is over, we are individuals again. 
you know, his music sometimes is called the music of silence. He does talk about, in many of his interviews, about the importance of what happens between the notes rather than during the notes. I was so thoughtful after that interview. And then I realized what this music does to me personally. It's no matter how much disaster is happening around us, I do think that his music in particular brings a lot of hope. I like to sometimes, sometimes in the, in the, you know, in the morning, just sit down and play his, his music to prepare myself for the day, to open my ears, to open my soul, my heart, my, my inner me, my inner genius, and um, and one morning I s just spontaneously decided to play his music, and I, um, in an hour, an hour later, I found out that he passed away that day. And I really, I really miss him because he was very honest, he was very real about what's happening, he was very real about also music and its role. You see, normally at the end of the piece it would be... But for him it's important to add a dissonance. So this would be a normal ending. And this is concelli, so very concelli. Maybe this is where he wasn't so sure that it's a happy ending for us. I don't know. I still want to think it's a happy ending. Encouraged, he gave the strength, and I, I want him to live through his music. Oh, look at this incredible, incredible drawings! Love. Thank you, dear Kanchi.